Everybody in the house, let's do the countdown. Three, two, one, zero, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Mando Stereo The World in Three Dimensions. I am your host, the mysterious Dr. Stereo. This is my name. And today I want to show you something that you <laughs> maybe know or maybe you don't know it, so we can all learn a little bit together. So, if you are a 3D fan or you just discovered 3D and 3D Blu ray and 3D books and 3D everything, you most likely stumbled upon polarized filters. Polarized filters, pole filters. What is this? And why is it so important for three dimensional playback on displays in the cinema and even in some kind of books? Well, polarized filters do allow us to reproduce images in full color. You can take 3D photos, you can take 3D movies, everything, and if you uh, choose a method of showing them to the people that uses the Polaroid and polarized filters, then you're on the safe side because they can show them all colors available. You cannot do this using the beep anaglyph technique. This is, these are anaglyph glasses. It's red and cyan. These uh, limit the color palette for reproduction and you I most likely can see an image that is quite okay, but anaglyph doesn't really satisfy the viewer at all. But how do polarized filters work? Well, first you need a polarized filter. This is a, a, a thing that filters out light of a specific direction. Light here in the room and everywhere is going and with a polarized filter you're only picking the photons that go like, let me say, like this. All the others are left. Then you can produce or simply turn the filter by 90 degrees. <laughs> and then you have only left the light that goes out this way. Now, with these two filters, you can project your three-dimensional photos or movies. If you put one filter in front of the one projection lens and the other filter in front of the other projection lens, and then you project these two light rays, orientation so, orientation so, onto a silver screen, which is very important. A white wall would destroy the polarization. On a silver screen, throws back the polarized light, exactly as it was projected. So you have these two images on a screen and if you look onto it without glasses, it's just two blurry images. But if you're using polarized glasses, which work exactly the way the filters in front of the projectors, then each eye is getting a single information. The one eye is getting this light and the other eye is getting this light. And this is the left side and this is the right side. Each eye is getting the specific view that has been recorded by the 3D camera with the two lenses. And if you're wearing these glasses and you look at the screen, you're seeing 3D images. Can be black and white or can be full color. It's a real pleasure. All these, <laughs> all these wonderful and there are out a lot, a lot, a lot of more movies from the 1950s looks so great in full color. It's a Wahnsinn. It's, it's, a, it's a Wahnsinn, würde man in, uh, in Bayern sagen, you would say in Bavaria. It's madness, it's sheer madness. Gog, Gog is so cool in color. Kiss Me Kate is one, is one of my all-time favorites. It's, it's vibrant colors, it's so great. Sangaree, Sangaree. Inferno, not to speak of Inferno. <laughs> so. But how can I show you here, <laughs> in this very tiny space and Mondo Stereo blog? And I prepared a thing. 
I prepared a thing and I'm gonna do the magic now. I'm gonna do the magic now and it goes like this. Three, two, one. Gazook! Yes, my friends. I am the owner of the yellow box. And what is in the yellow box? I put away the lid. I look into the yellow box and it's inside a sheet of paper. It reads Stereo Test. Stereo Tests. Titmus Optical Company Incorporated, Petersburg, Virginia, United States of America. Well, doesn't look very much 3D to me, except that is a thing that can be placed somewhere into space, as you can see right now. What's all about it? Is the mysterious Mondo Stereo Doctor out of his mind? No, there's something else inside. I have another book. Stereo tests, Titmus Optical Company, Petersburg. It's the same thing on the cover, but inside. Hey, it's a, what is it? A huge fly and some funny symbols, little animals. A bunny, a fox, a squirrel, a monkey, a cock, and so on and so on. And a housefly, Polaroid, 3D vectograph. So I uh, place it here. What's it all about? Is this vectograph any good? <laughs> yes, it is, my friends, it is. Also in the box is a pair of polarized glasses. And here you can see the filters. This is the filter for the left eye, this is the filter for the right eye, and you don't see any difference now. They are all it's looking like an ordinary sunglasses. But now I will put it on and Beware, my friends. This is not for the squeamish. Please leave the theater if you are weak at heart. People under 17 only admitted with a parent. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Yay! Can you see it? Now the fly is in 3D. The fly is in 3D. And you can also see another thing. It's the glasses I'm wearing. Now look at these. One is light and one is dark. And this is exactly what the polarized filter do. And here we have a vectograph and this is a very special thing that is a, a plastic foil. And on the one side is printed the one eye view with polarized ink or something. What, what I don't know, it's a real magic to me. And on the back side is printed the image for the other eye in another polarization and together with the glasses you can see you can see printed things on paper in 3D. It's cool looking, eh? This is an, an, an stereo test it's for children to determine whether they can see in 3D or not. You're lying this on the table, then you're giving the glasses to a child and then you uh, look how the child reacts on the flyer. If the child goes with the hand and man, ooh, hey, this is a fly, this is a little fly then you know, ah, the child is seeing in 3D. You have also some tests here. Maybe you can see uh, some elevated circles and some elevated animals here as well. This is all three-dimensional HD recording. You should be able to see it. I give it a bit, little bit uh, narrower. So, this is <laughs> really a, a nice toy for a 3D collector. So, uh, that's all for today, folks. Bye-bye. Uh, no! Not bye bye. Oh, everything's gone now. But a very, very dear person recently sent me this envelope. It's a big envelope and it comes also from the United States of America. Dooby 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 doo. Glendale Maynard. M A. Is this Massachusetts? I think it is. What's inside? Let's open it. Let's unbox. Let's <laughs> unenvelope the envelope. I got my trusty envelope opener here. 
Be careful, be careful. Uh, I know you. Th <laughs> I know uh, what you are thinking is coming, and it really does come. Oh, excuse me, I uh, slip with the knife. Be careful. <laughs> like in the good old days, everything has to be poked into the camera. Oh, be careful. This is this is the American way, and this is the Chinese way. Wow. Like you see in Dynasty, which I haven't received yet. So. So what's inside? Wenham Museum <laughs> by Ron Labby. Ron, it arrived. It arrived and this is now the first time I'm looking at it. It's called Cross-Eyed Doll. I <laughs> should show you. And I'm turning it now. It's the first time I'm, tur I'm seeing it. I'm not seeing it at all. And now I'm turning it so that I can see it. You will see me not now. Wow. It really works. It's great. I'm removing the back. Oy! This is beautiful, man. Do you want to see it too, dear viewers? Well, you can. Et voila! This is what the dear Ron sent me. This is so great. This is absolutely... This is high resolution. <laughs> Here I am. High resolution, high quality print. It's in fact, it's like this doll is here. It's so lifelike. And as far as I know, uh, Ron printed it with a so, so called a stereo chat printers. These have been sold in the 2000, 2010 years and they are sold out now. So you, you can only buy them at eBay for astronomical prices. And this was, uh, you had to print the first part on the first, on the, on the front. And the second view on the back of the paper. It, people say that it was uh, real hard to converge to get the printer to print them exactly above the other to have no conversion. Wow, errors. Stereo chat by Studio 3D, stereoscopic imaging. www.studio3d.com. Go there. You can, you can buy these prints at eBay, I saw. So Ron is still selling them. If you want to <laughs> make a present to a dedicated 3D fan, I think this is it. Well, I'm sure if you're asking Ron if he wants to print a photo of yours on this paper, I think um, money can buy it, huh? Ron. <laughs> it's really superb. It's really super. So, one last time for you. I should have a, um, a light source in the back. When, when, big from the, uh, <laughs> when big from the land, when lit from the back, it's even more beautiful. Hope that works. And if not, go out and buy it. Yay. This is really a surprise. Thank you very much. So if you want to know a little, a little lot more about polarized techniques and 3D myths that are spreading around for decades, then you might uh, like to go to the www.3darchive.com website by the 3D Film Archive and go to the 3D Myths page. There you can see what uh, falsehoods have been spread throughout the decades regarding 3D movies. And also there are lots and tons of, of information about movies and history and everything. And so we're through with this episode of Mondo Stereo Polarized Filters. 
And now I'm going to watch this photo. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving me this <laughs> beautiful image. And tune in soon when you hear the call. Who are we gonna call? Uh, uh, mysterious Dr. Stereo. Cut!